Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Masquerade Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about the expand tab string method. And what this does is it converts the tab character, the escape tab character, I should say, uh, backslash T into um, spaces. So we'll take a look at it. But first, I'm going to type out this ridiculously weird string and the reason I'm doing this is to help you guys better understand what's going on also so it matches up with Master Code Online's written documentation. This way everybody can follow along and understand how this all works. Alright, just bear with me for a second. There we go and close out that string, hit return. Alright, so <clears throat> like I said before, the backslash T is a tab character. All right, so if we call A like this, we just get the string uh, as a literal, all right? But if we use print and then A, then we get the tabs, all right, cool. Now, look at this very closely. Notice how they're they're beautifully spaced apart. You see that? That is beautiful. All right, so what's going on here is technically this is uh, eight index spaces from here to that one, all right? And same with two to here is eight index spaces. Same with this to here is eight index spaces. And so on. If I went all the way up to eight, we would notice it all the way down there, but I'm like typing all that up. All right, so what we're going to do is convert these into spaces. Right now, they are basically converted into spaces uh, using the print um, statement, but we're going to look at how to use expand tabs. Um, method. So what we're going to do is first we're just going to do a dot expand tabs like this and the expand tabs takes one argument. It's how many um, spaces are we going to expand out using how many spaces we're going to use for each tab. That's what I should say. Alright so it defaults to 8. So that's where I got that number 8 at. Alright so that's 8. This is 8 this is eight, all right? So that's that's how it works. Now we can mess with it a little bit, so let's go ahead and bring up our ridiculously long string again, all right? And let's go ahead and take a look at another example. This time we're gonna convert them to fours. So let's go ahead and do a dot expand tabs, and we're gonna pass the argument four in here. And now our, um, our tab breaks or our tab ends, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? Our tab stop, I guess it is, uh, stops at four spaces. So now we got one, two, three, four, and it stops. Notice how it's smaller than this, so four spaces. All right, same here, four spaces. Same here, four spaces. Same here, four spaces. Notice there's a big space right here, and you may be wondering, what in the world is that for? Shouldn't the five, 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 five be right there? Well, because there's a tab after the four, 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 or whatever, I said too many fours. But since there's a tab there, it still needs to put in that tab. So what's going to do is put in that tab and add four more spaces. And then this goes to the next tab stop and adds the fives. And notice that it goes over one five. So now we are here, all right? And this is going to be one, two, three, four, all right? So that's how it works. So don't get confused. Um, I mean, basically, it will if it, if you fill it up with the tab stop, it will go to the next tab stop and add the tab. And then same here, we got four. All right, so that counts as a tab. All right, if you will. And then we're going to go ahead and do another character and then add three more spaces here because we need to go to the next tab stop. There we go. All right. Um, Let's take a look at another one for practice sake. Let's create a new string. A is equal to first, then tab, uh, second, then tab, and then third. Third. There we go. And now we're just going to go ahead and do A expand tabs four like that. Now we got first. All right, so we're expanding four. Whoa. Hold on. I don't know if you guys saw that on my screen, got all weird. But um, anyhow, uh, we're expanding four tabs. Our tab stop is at the fourth space, our fourth index position. So zero, one, two, three, or actually four characters it should be. 
So uh, one, two, three, four right here. And then it's going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four here. And then it starts the next tab stop here. One, two, three, four. And then it does the same thing again. And it's going to go one, two, three, four. And then third right here. All right. So I hope that's not confusing to you guys. It sounds good to me in my mind, but I'm just trying to figure out if you guys understand this. So <clears throat> try this one more time. One, one last ex explanation. All right, so four spots. We're, that's what we're passing as the argument, four spots. So one, two, three, four, that's the tab stop right there, okay? So our, our string fills that up. Now it's gonna go to the next tab spot because we're calling it, we have a tab right here, all right? So now it's gonna go there and it's gonna say, okay, we got to go uh, four more tab spots until we start our next portion of the string. So it's gonna go T is one and then the space is two Another space is three, another space is four. Okay, now we can start our next portion of the string. It will return this, and it will count out four, zero, or one, two, three, four, and then it will start to say, oh, the next tab started here, and then we're gonna go ahead and add two there, and that's our next tab spot. Hope that helps you guys understand what is going on there. If you have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. I'll be more than happy to try to explain it better. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about the fine string method.